Hi everyone, my name is Amelia and today I'm going to be talking about the development of an artist. Is it talent or perseverance? A lot of people think that in order to be good at drawing, you need to start out with some level of skill or talent and I'm here to disprove that because this is how I started with drawing. But that's what I want to share today. I'm going to be sharing how I've been able to develop as an artist through my years of drawing and in hindsight, every mistake and every drawing that I've made has helped me become the artist that I am today. I'm going to be sharing three lessons from my art journey, inspiration, competition, and small fish in a big pond. I hope you guys enjoy. Lesson number one, inspiration. Growing up, I fell in love with cartoons. Everything from the way the characters acted to the magical worlds they lived in pulled me in as a kid. And looking back, it felt like they were my best childhood friends. And that led me to become inspired to drawing as a kid. Um, I would doodle all the time in my classroom notebooks, doodle at home. It was just so fun to create my own stories and my own characters. And as I kept drawing, I also kept developing. I did more research online, so I found more styles, and I also started experimenting with digital art, so you could see my style starting to change and becoming my own. But as I did more research, I also discovered the, something called the art industry, and these are the people and companies responsible for creating the art that I loved. And so not only did I come to realize that my favorite cartoons um, were just great for their surface value, but I also realized that they had amazing uh, people who worked to make these cartoons. So I started seeing them like this. Storyboards, concept art, real work put in by real people, and that's what blew my mind as a kid. How come no one showed me this world? I had to discover it on my own. And so I started seeing things differently. I started seeing animated movies differently because I couldn't help but notice the amount of hard work they put into every single detail on the screen. And I began to see it like this. People coming in day in and day out to work on these movies and make magic come to life. And this is what inspired me as a kid because I learned that magic and magical realms could be created from hard work and determination. And that, that made art seem like a powerful tool to me. This is what inspires me to draw today. Lesson number two, competition. So if all I have to do is hard work and draw every single day for the rest of my life, then I'll be famous in no time, right? Wrong. That's what I learned. And it was a painful lesson that I had to learn in middle school because I eventually realized that I was just drawing for myself. So all of my drawings ended up looking stiff and about the same. But around this time, I also met my very good art friend and this was her art at the time much more developed, much more composition, and you can see the amount of effort she puts into details. And so this really inspired me and I really wanted to learn from her. We did this challenge where we would draw our characters in our own styles and this helped me grow because I got to see the difference in our styles. I also got to improve in, as an artist because I was constantly trying to do the same as she did. So I would put more effort and more color composition into my drawings until eventually this was our art compared to each other. Now, my style had changed so much since I had first met her, but it wouldn't have been possible without her help. I was able to go from simple doodle drawings to full on finished pieces in about a year because I pushed myself with every drawing to be as good as she was. And this goes to show the importance of competition because sometimes it can be the best form of support. Lesson number three, small fish in a big pond. Around high school, the beginning of high school is when I created my first Instagram account because I wanted to share my art with the public. And I also discovered some of my favorite artists to this day, and they continue to inspire me because I love their art. It just looks so cool, and I want to learn everything about them. 
So I set out to do this. This was my first Instagram post and it's very sketchy and unfinished, but I started to develop my style because posting on social media was another reason for me to draw every day. And so my style started to become more colorful and cute until eventually it's the flashy style that I have today. And my style changed to capture attention because my goal was to get people to like my art from the moment they laid eyes on it. But I couldn't help but realize the huge amount of followers that my favorite artists actually had. It was so intimidating and so daunting. How could I ever become a, as good of an artist as they are if I could never achieve that many, uh, that high number of followers? This led to me feeling uh, unconfident and a bit insecure about my own stories because I didn't think they were good enough for Instagram standards. Um, and so a lot of the animations and comics that I really wanted to make never were made because I didn't want to spend that much effort on them if I wasn't going to get enough likes or comments or follows. After a while, I realized that this isn't right and I'm not happy. If I was only making art for people online, then what was the point of even creating stories like my favorite cartoons? I had to redefine my values. I realized that art is something that's personal to me and that it's okay for people not to like it as much as I do. I didn't want to give an explanation or even make pretty pictures for people online that I didn't even um, know in real life. Um, I realized that my art is okay if it's messy and unfinished. As long as I was creating the stories that I wanted to tell, I was happy. So back to the original question. Does it take talent or perseverance to make a good artist? I realize that the answer is neither. It's irrelevant. Do what you love and work hard at it, I beg of you. Because once you've realized this, you'll be able to achieve so much more and you'll be able to achieve what you really want to achieve. Um, this is a lesson that has come to help me again and again in times of doubt. And I hope that you could take something away from my lessons from my art journey. And once you succeed, tell me about it. I can't wait to hear all about it. Thank you very much.